You clicked on this video because your vocals don't sound how you want them to sound. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make them sound good with stock plugins. A lot of people use Waves to make their vocals sound good. And Waves are good plugins, but they're so expensive. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it with stock plugins, no extra plugins needed. If you don't know me, my name is Valleys. I'm an artist and producer, and I've made many songs hitting over 100,000 streams and some even hitting over 1 million streams. So I know what I'm talking about. Enough of this intro. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Okay, so we're in FL Studio, as you can see. And the first thing I'm going to do is show you my vocals without any effects, no auto tune, no EQs, no compressor, nothing at all. It's going to be kind of embarrassing, but I'm going to show you exactly how it sounds. All I see is blood. I know that you're broke. You won't stand a chance against me because I'm chosen. You should step aside. But you're on your own. All your friends ain't right or die. Do you see that's wrong? So obviously, without effects, it doesn't sound good at all. It sounds very dry. <laughs> auto tune. There's not even auto tune, so it sounds the pitch is not correct. I'm not the best singer, obviously. Now I'm going to show you exactly how it sounds with all the effects on show you that you can really mix with just stock plugins all i see is blood i know that you're broken you won't stand a chance against me because i'm chosen you should step aside but you're on your own all your friends ain't right or die do you see that's wrong like it sounds ready to be released in my opinion it sounds really good so i'm going to show you exactly what effects i use to make it sound like this first of all we have a noise gate just to remove those extra noises for example your fan in your room or your laptop that makes noise we're just going to remove that after that i have autotune pro okay you call me this is not stock but you can also use picture i just like autotune you can use efx as well if you have the money i would suggest buying autotune or trying to get it a different way if you know what i'm talking about then i use two eqs to remove bad frequencies and the lows and boost the highs a little bit then a compressor just to compress it make it sound the same volume throughout the whole track uh, then a sound goodizer to add some saturation then a fruity eq again to remove more bad frequencies there are some bad frequencies in your voice for example the lows or in the mids that could be a frequency if you do a sweep that sounds very bad then we also have a maximus we're going to use this as a de-esser you need a de-esser in your chain otherwise the s sounds are going to hurt your ears and just going to sound too sharp for some genres it works but for this one or for this song i use the maximus then reverb to add a little bit of spice and make it sound like it's cooler more ambient we don't want those dry vocals and then a delay just to add some texture when the vocal is done so um that is what i use for the main vocals by the way if you want to download this preset there's a link in the description where you can download it it's not going to be too expensive because i know a lot of people don't have the money to buy 70 dollar presets or 50 dollar presets so i'm going to keep the price pretty low i am going to say it's very worth it and then for the ad libs i did the same chain but i removed an eq and added a flanger just to add some texture you could also use a chorus effect but i like this flanger then I put more reverb, more delay, and a stereo shaper. And if you want an in-depth video of how I mix my vocals from start to end, I also have videos doing that to explain everything that's going on. And you can click this video right here, or I don't know where it's gonna show up, but you can click that video. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.